Welcome to Set Biology, the cover page. Today, our biology kids will be taking us on a journey to test for starch. It will be a virtual lab, but our kids are going to take us through this experiment and we'll be documenting the result in a table. So, the topic is testing for starch, and we are going to, of course, determine if starch is present in a couple of food substances so that's pretty much our aim now the table here shows the samples to be tested to the left the apparatus and the material those are the things that we're going to be using to carry out the lab and of course the procedure tells us how we're going to execute the lab the observation is pretty much what we're going to be picking up in that lab whether we're going to be seeing it hearing it feeling it tasting it smelling it and remember that we never ever smell and taste unless we're told to do so the conclusion is going to be our final point which is of course based on our aim so here we have tested flour and of course we got a blue black color as observation and that pretty much indicates that starch is present we also tested another food substance so we got a red brown color which is of course that color of iodine which pretty much indicates that no starch is present. So no starch was present when we tested a scallion. Now you are supposed to test table sugar. That's the sugar you use to sweeten your tea. Irish potato, you would have that in your kitchen. You would have used it to make a salad. And of course, there are some other food substances that you are supposed to be looking at. Things like rice. You want to be sure that you are able to test the rice. And what you're going to be doing is just to use three drops of iodine and you're going to be just dropping that three drop of iodine on the food substance and then you're going to be observing for color change so your procedure is to pretty much collect that food sample add three drops of iodine to the food sample having added three drops of iodine to the food sample you are going to be looking at the sample to see if there is a color change the apparatus and material will range anywhere from a spoon or a spatula a knife or scaffold blade and of course you might want a white tile or a petri dish or a clean surface a plate if you're at home and of course you're going to be using a knife depending you might use a mortar and a pistol or just a firm area to crush now all that you'll be required to do boys and girls is pretty much fill in your observation in this area here right below observation and of course fill in the conclusion i don't know that you are going to be writing over your apparatus and procedure but your teacher will provide the guidance that is needed for successful completion of this lab now please be reminded that you are watching csec biology the cover page and this is of course our new series called biologic kids now you want to check out the other lessons that are online and we are gearing towards students in grade five six seven eight and nine we're trying to make that link between the exit exam when the kids is about 13 14 15 16 17 18 they're about but the high school exit exam we're trying to forge that link so of course student will not be in the dark when the time comes around for exam they would know that of course this is not an experiment that should be dumped the student will of course at least know the experiment long before it gets to CXC if that is going to be the exit exam. Remember, you're supposed to pause the video to complete the activities here. So, of course, we're going to be testing onion. We're going to be testing rice. We're also going to be testing banana. So, you want to ensure that you have all those uh, ready. We're going to be testing the egg albumin. And albumin is, of course, the white part of the egg we're going to be adding that iodine to the area there on screen we're indicating that you pretty much uh, your teacher will guide you as to whether you should fill this area in or not now the experiment will come up at the back end of your proper documentation of this table you want to ensure that the table is properly written in your textbooks and of course here we have onion rice egg albumin and you would have seen so we started out with flour a scallion sugar and of course potato and then we moved on down to look at some other food substances we're flipping the table back and forth for those persons who missed out so we continue with onion rice egg albumin and banana we did the two first uh food samples for you so you have that as a guide 
as to what is expected of you now we are coming up to the experiment and you want to pay attention as we would have had these in some test tubes and we are dropping iodine or adding iodine to the mixture so we're testing for starch and it is a virtual lab there we have the mixtures in the test tube and if you observe the dropper will be dropping a drop of iodine so and we're seeing some color change taking place with the first drop second drop coming down and if you observe the color change there it is not a black color it is moving to what we refer to as a blue black color so when you test your food substance by adding that iodine and you can of course get the iodine at the pharmacy at a wholesale you want to ask your parents to fetch that for you and your teacher will also take you through a practical be it virtual or otherwise so we're looking here the three drops of iodine was added to the solution and you would have seen the color change there please be reminded that you can go back to that video with the animation and of course you are able to complete it so of course please be reminded to like share and subscribe and join us again for another biologic kid thanks much for joining and leave us a comment below